for government, we are going to be taking a look at the purpose and functions of government, which is an overview, the origins of government, and we're also going to be visiting some theories of these origins, and those come from political philosophers such as Hobbes, Locke, and Montesquieu. And so we're going to analyze these ideas and see exactly how they affected the United States concept and take of government when we created our legal legislation to set up our country's constitution. Let's take it back and do a refresher at the origins and reasons for creating government. There are four purposes or functions of government here to review. One is the government wants to maintain social order. The government is there to provide public services, and the government is there to provide national security, and the government should be making economic decisions for the nation as a whole. Now, maintaining social order, that's the idea of if someone breaks a law, they need to be held accountable. So making laws and then enforcing them is maintaining social order. When the government provides public services, what we are looking for is the government to provide public things like roads, bridges, school systems, maybe public libraries or parks, public services everyone can use. Providing national security is an important purpose and function of the government as well. The government provides military to protect us, protect us from attacks, but also to provide border patrol, and of course we also have a government function of making economic decisions. So providing monetary U.S. dollars to control interest rates and inflation and also to provide for a stable economy. I like that. So how do governments actually come to exist? Something to look at for origins. There's the evolutionary theory, the force theory, divine right theory, and social contract theory, which we'll talk about when we look at Hobbes as well. So to start, let's go ahead and take a focus at the evolutionary theory. So the origin of government under evolutionary theory is that as the family extends or grows, the elders become the governing body, which makes sense. So the governing body is one family that grows as the family grows. Force theory is the idea that those that are stronger or have the backing of military can usually bring areas under their control by force, thus becoming the government. Divine right theory is the idea that people in some societies think that their leaders are chosen by God, so they're just obeying their leaders. That means they're obeying their God as well. The last theory on origin of government or why governments are created is the social contract theory. And people say the brutality of life without laws is so bad that people are willing to actually let someone control them to avoid the chaos of having no governance at all. One thinker behind the social contract theory is Thomas Hobbes. This philosopher wrote the Leviathan theory and also believed the state of nature, which basically says man can't live without government and laws because they are so savage and selfish that they would always go about obtaining whatever they wanted without any consideration or mercy toward any other man. Eesh. I didn't like him anyway. He wasn't right. In the hat. Another philosopher would be John Locke, who wrote the second treatise on government. The United States is going to look heavily toward John Locke when we draft our Declaration of Independence. John Locke believed that people were basically reasonable and sociable. However, everyone was self-interested, meaning that they would make sure they were served before anyone else. Locke believed that in the state of nature, such as Hobbes' ideas, that you can't really enjoy life because you'd constantly be insecure and in constant danger of someone coming along to take your things. So he believed the best way to solve this problem was to create a government and live under this government that would be from the people and by the people. So the people would be giving the government power to make and enforce laws on their behalf. The United States liked this idea quite a bit. The United States also looked to Montesquieu, who wrote The Spirit of Laws, when coming up with ideas and reasons for limiting government. Montesquieu felt that political liberties exist only when the governments treat people fairly, but we all know if you give people power, they may abuse it. So he felt that government had to be structured with checks and balances in order to lead to limited government. The United States definitely uses this idea. This stuff, isn't it neat? Hope you enjoyed the brain food. See you soon.